If you ever needed to simulate a robot system, then chances are that you have come across VREP, the virtual robot experimentation platform distributed by Coppelia Robotics. VREP allows you to simulate a wide range of robot systems, ranging from mobile robots all the way to robot arms. Personally, I'm not overly familiar with the Luau scripting language that VREP uses, and I prefer to use external APIs such as Python or MATLAB. In this video, I will show you how to connect VREP to MATLAB. I have decided to break this video tutorial into two parts. In the first part, I will show you how to simply connect VREP to MATLAB, and in the second part, I will show you how to send actuator commands, how to read sensors, and how to read images. So, let's begin. Let's set up the VREP environment, and we'll start with a blank scene. The only thing that we really need is a command to be executed that's called simext remote api start and then the socket number. For the purposes of this tutorial though, we'll do a little bit more. We'll add a robot agent and an obstacle. So, if this is your first time in VREP, you can move within the environment by clicking the left mouse button and then panning back and forth. You can zoom using the mouse wheel and if you push the mouse wheel, you can rotate around the point. Under the model browser, under robots and mobile, if you scroll all the way down, you can find this Pioneer P3DX, which we'll be using. Also, let's add a simple cuboid uh, obstacle, which we can find under primitive shape and cuboid. Down here, you can see the coordinate system. So let's add a shape that is 0.3 meters wide by 0.3 meters tall and then 0.6 meters long. We can move this shape by selecting object item shift and we'll move it right in front of our Pioneer robot. Now let's add that command that I, talk, that I was talking about that will start the remote API binding. Right click on the cuboid and select add associated child script and then non-threaded. This will allow us to program behavior for the cuboid. We don't really need any of these other scripts right here. What we need is this if statement, which is uh, if sim call type equal to sim child script call initialization. Any code within this if statement is executed once. So we'll put our sim external remote API start command and then for the socket port number we'll use 19999 and that's it that's all we need within the scene now we'll have to save the scene and we'll make a new folder because this folder will also act as our workspace since we also have to copy a few files with the, into this folder and we'll call this MATLAB Vera. And there you have it. Now our workspace is set up and we're ready to start copying files into the folder. The next step involves copying some library files from the Vera installation directory into our workspace. I have VREP installed in C, program files x86, VREP3. In the programming folder, there are the remote API bindings, which allow all of these different programming languages to connect to VREP. We're going to go into MATLAB, and there are six files in here. This readme file shows you how to connect VREP to MATLAB. What we need from here is the remapi.m file and remote API proto. These are the two that you need at a bare minimum. We'll also grab the simple test file because that one tests the remote API binding. And we'll copy it into our workspace. We also need another file from the 
remote API bindings directory, which is located under lib, lib, and I'm using a 64-bit system, so I'm going to grab the remote API.dll. If you're using a 32-bit system, then you have to grab this one. Usually, MATLAB will complain if you have the wrong one. So now the workspace is set up. Let me explain what the other three files in the remote API bindings MATLAB folder are. Readme.txt explains how to connect VRAP and MATLAB. The complex command test.m will show you how to execute complex commands from a remote API client. And this last file, simple synchronous test, is an example how, how to synchronize MATLAB with VREP. For the purpose of this example, we're going to be running MATLAB and VREP in asynchronous mode, meaning VREP and MATLAB will run parallel and they will send commands and data back and forth, but they will never really wait for each other. This could be an issue if you have complex optimizations running within MATLAB that take a long time to complete. If you have that, you should look into synchronous mode, where commands and data can be transferred, but VREP will not continue with the next time step until a specific command is sent. To learn more, look at the following link here in the VREP help file, or consult the following simple synchronous test example. Now that we have set up the VREP scene, and copy the library files, we can go ahead and establish a connection to MATLAB. First, we're going to need to point the MATLAB workspace to our files. Then, I will open simpletest.m. In the beginning, in the first few lines, there is some licensing information followed by instructions on what you need to do to get this file to run. There is also a mention of the simext remote api start command that I previously mentioned. Then it will tell you that you have to have this VREP simulation running for, this, for the connection to work. When you run the VREP simulation, you will notice that the Pioneer robot starts to move. This has nothing to do with MATLAB. This is because there is a child script here that I have not disabled, which dictates how the Pioneer behaves. This is inconsequential to our simulation and the connection between VREP and MATLAB, so I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to start the scene, and then I will run the MATLAB script. It will show, show us that the number of objects was 57, and then it will display the X position of the mouse pointer in VREP. And then it will also display a message, hello VREP, all from within MATLAB. And there you have it. The connection has been successful. At this point, if you're someone who likes to figure things out by themselves, you now have everything you need to establish a connection between MATLAB and VREP. I would like to point you to the remote API functions list for MATLAB, which is located in the manual at copeliarobotics.com. It has a list of all of the functions that are supported by MATLAB. It has a description, the actual usage, and what all of the parameters are and what it returns. The usage, first, you create a remote API object by going vrep by uh, running this command and then vrep dot and then whatever the command is right here. This concludes the first video. In the next video I will show you how to exactly use these remote API functions and I will show you how to control the actuators of the Pioneer P3DX, how to read the sensors and will also add a camera and then transfer images from VREP into MATLAB. I decided to uh, cut the videos in two 
to keep the length of these videos low. I hope to see you then.